crackers. Crackers. Keto crackers. I went to Aldi. Aldi's has got some cool keto products, so we're gonna review a bunch of them. Starting off with crackers. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we sit down on our couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So recently, I went to Aldi, and uh, I was just, I always go up and down the aisles and see, like, what's new? What's new? My most of the time it's garbage. Right. So uh, I found this. These are Eno Foods. I've Eno? actually also seen these in Costco. Like innovative? Yeah. So it says Eno Foods Keto Crackers. So it does, anytime it says, of course, keto, it kind of like. We're going to come down harder I, I on it. I can't do it, but I, like the mm -hmm. rock, raise my eyebrow kind of thing. Yeah. Right? So a uh, little copy on the back here. It says, snap, crunch, and smile. Treat yourself to Inno Foods gluten-free, zero-sugar keto crackers. A low-carb, delicious cracker you can eat without guilt. This healthy, savory snack will keep you coming back for more. Packed with the goodness of organic almonds and super seeds. These crackers are non-GMO, vegan-friendly, contain no artificial flavors, colors, or preservatives. Nice. Are you ready? Yeah. I love a good cracker. So it does say almonds, coconut, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, and hemp seeds. So it's working pretty hard in there. And uh, on the front, it does say it's four net carbs per, per serving. serving. That is a respectable looking cracker, nice and thick. This is the important part. That's not much of a snap. I, I don't know, I think it's got a decent. Hmm. I mean, it's a cracker. Mm -hmm. It's got an interesting flavor. It does because you've got all these different nuts kind of working together. And you can see all of the nuts in it, which I like, you know, or seeds. Mm hmm. Very nice. It's not really a savory cracker, though. Mm. I, it's got a bit of a sweetness to it. Yeah, I like it. Um, Tastes good. I okay, it, I'm going to blow your mind. You know what it tastes like? You're gonna need another. You're gonna need another bite after I say this. Okay. Wheat thins. Yeah. Oh wow. Mm-hmm. Right. Which is interesting that they've achieved that taste. It tastes like wheat thins. Using thin. these different. Did you like wheat thins? I used to love wheat thins. That does taste like a wheat thin. You are so right. Okay. You ready? That's it. That's the flavor. Five things. Five things. If you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're gonna talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? It's delicious. And need a drink. Okay. It's kind of salty, mm -hmm. but in a good way. So these are made in Canada with imported ingredients. Cool. Okay. So it's funny, they're made in Canada and it has a USDA organic and a non-GMO project verified on the bottom. Uh, also, it does have a gluten-free certification um, and it says beyond celiac gluten free. So that is like really, you're that's a plus. Hard. So you're trying hard there. Ingredients organic, coconut, pumpkin seed. So everything, this is all, it's got the asterisk. Got the asterisk. Which so Anthony loves. Coconut, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, brown rice flour, tapioca flour, almonds, hemp seeds, erythritol inulin, brown rice protein, flax seeds, crispy brown rice, sea salt, coconut, butter baking powder, nutritional yeast, and natural flavors. I wish it didn't have rice in it. It's got a lot of rice in it, but overall the ingredients aren't, they're not horrible. Not terrible, but. But the brown rice could lead to some inflammation for some people. So it does have brown rice flour. It's got brown rice protein in it. It's, it's got crispy brown rice in it, which again, we've seen that in some other products. It's 
Yeah, again, it, everybody's different. Some it's, people are going to get some inflammation from brown rice. It's interesting that you're calling it keto. Just mm -hmm. be like it's an organic cracker. Right. Because I feel like when when we see rice in an ingredient list, we, you know, like our antenna comes up. So, you know, I feel like a lot of people would just be like, yeah, that's not keto. Right. But it is pretty clean ingredients. Now, it's funny because I remember I said it was a little sweet. It does have erythritol in it. And uh, I will say that I am not getting any kind of cooling effect. Oh, so I no. don't think it has a lot of erythritol. It's like a buttery sweetness yeah. to it. D very much like you were saying. With the okay. Crackers. Number two, does it keto based on our nutrition label? So a serving size is five crackers, which would be kind of hard for me to only eat five crackers. There's supposed to be seven servings in this bag. And I feel like I would, I would be a little bit heavy handed with this. But a five crackers are 100 calories, seven grams of fat, three grams of protein, and seven total carbohydrates. They're um, talking about the one gram of sugar alcohol and two dietary fiber to bring it down to the four net carbs. But seven total carbs isn't terrible, okay. honestly, for crackers. Here's my only issue with that. Mm -hmm. I would probably have a very hard time limiting it to seven crackers. So though. we're gonna get full-size crackers, even though we always advise that you weigh, don't go by yeah. like cracker size. Because I'd be like, the broken ones don't count. Right. Okay, so there's a serving. Wait, no, that's not seven. Oh, I, I'm se oh it's seven. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to get a serving. I'm trying to get whole pieces again. Right, here. and not the... So that, that's a serving, <laughs> which is kind of respectable. But if you've ever had crackers... I'm not just eating seven. Who's only eating seven crackers? Yeah. You know, me... me I, I could see it being really good if you're having maybe a, a party. Right. And you want to put like a cheese, put one of these with a little piece of cheese pepperoni. and a piece of pepperoni or salami mm -hmm. or something like that. Probably be a safer way to eat it. And But as far as, like, I would not advise eating these. Well, we'll, we'll get to recommend, but... So that's, it's a respectable serving, but I'm going to have a hard time sticking to that. Right. And it comes down to basically... Oh no, I'm sorry, you were wrong. Was I wrong? It is five crackers. Oh, I'm sorry, that's so my bad. this is a serving. Okay, now we're really in trouble. So so that, now we're really, we're in a serving. And the reason, but you were thinking a seven is total because carb. Because seven total carb. But that is more than one carb, total carb. And even if you go net carb, okay, take this little broken one, you know, or maybe a, a whole one. You're looking at almost one net carb per cracker. Wow. Like 0.8. Net carbs, net carbs per cracker. So That's now for me, it comes down to, is it, is worth, it, it? worth it? And is that mm -hmm. worth a carb? And if you're going total carbs, is it worth more than a carb? I just, I think that what you're recommending, which is, you know, make it an event, put yeah. some other stuff on it and use it as a conveyance for other food would probably be a better well, bet. Well, let's, number three. Okay, how does it taste? I actually think they taste really good. They taste really, really good. good, especially if you liked Wheat Thins. And again, when I picked this up, my intent was be like, really, it says Kino on it, like, and it's in Aldi, like how good is it gonna be? Tasty. I have seen them in Costco as well. I don't know how much they were in Costco, I know how much I paid in Aldi, which we're gonna get to in a minute. But I think they taste very good. I wish it didn't have brown rice in it, but overall the ingredients are pretty good. So. Yeah, and I like the fact that they have their resealable bag. That, although, that, that is a help. Although I would get your little snack bags from Ziploc and go ahead and as soon as you open this, just portion them out into seven servings. Number four, how much do they cost? In Aldi, this yeah. bag was $5. Which isn't terrible, It's not honestly, terrible, honestly. For something that's like all organic and, and made out of the ingredients that it is. I mean, pumpkin seeds and almonds and yeah. sunflower kernels, that can get pricey. Yeah. I think um, it's reasonable. I think it's pretty good. I think you're like kind of online with like a lot of the other crackers out there, like the fat snack crackers. Um, you know, some cost-wise, not too expensive. Let's talk about number five. Would we recommend it? I'm going to recommend it with... A couple of asterisks right okay are they all organic number one um, just be aware that you are dealing with some brown rice and brown rice is going to uh, cause some inflammation in some people everybody's body is different if it only had like for example the brown rice crispy brown rice pieces I might be okay when I start looking it's got flour in it and it's got the rice protein in it like Give me one, not all three. Right. Because now we're adding a lot in there. 
Um, the way I'm going to recommend it is the way I said before, and that is you're having a party, you're having an event, you want to put out like a little crudite plan of platter, some appetizers, putting this, like putting one down with a little piece of cheese. Like, you know, I think about when we have staff parties at church and oh, stuff yeah. like that. And uh, Pastor's Wife is like awesome at having these like nice displays. She always has cheese and Meats stuff. Meats and cheeses. Most of it, we can't ever have the cracker. So from now on, I eat a lot of cheese because I'm just grabbing. So it'd be nice to have that cheese with a piece of salami and this on there. I'm not gonna recommend it if you can't control yourself, if you're right. like me, and you're just gonna grab a bag of this and start eating away at crackers because you're gonna quickly overdo it. Now, with that said, I think this is a great snack for kids because it's got yes. a good flavor. It's not got some sort of like, you know, wonky, like if they're not gonna be into a ranch or, you know, sour cream and onion flavor and they just want kind of like a sweet and salty mm -hmm. type of cracker, this is great. It's gonna give them the crunch that they like and set it out for the kids with some cheese and you're not, you know, quite as worried about them consuming, you know, too many servings of it in, in a sitting, but, I think this is great for school lunch. The ingredients are are pretty good, especially for somebody like children and stuff. And yeah. again, the flavor, if it's you good. were a Wheat Thin fan, the flavor is up there. So I think most kids That's are going to like, like it, it, so long as you don't do what you call like Lion King it. Like I'm this is healthy, cracker. right? Just don't do in. that. Just put crackers out there or maybe hide the bag. And I think most people are going to enjoy them. Put it out like, you know, if you've given them, if you want to switch out for Cheez-Its right. and different crackers like that, I think this is a this is a great replacement with good ingredients. And it, again, it's something that I think if you're having a party, you could put this out. And again, unless you Lion King, the fact that it says keto on the back, even non-keto people are going to think like, this is a good cracker. They're right? cheating for the night by having some crackers. Right. Like, I thought you were keto. Yeah, and then absolutely. you can tell them like, I am. Let us know down in the comment section if you've tried these. Where did you get them? What did you think? Did you think they were a good taste? Did you think they were a good value? Do you have a problem overeating crackers the way we do? Like we have a great cracker recipe. I'll leave oh, a recipe right up here. Make. But we don't make it very often. Why? Because I'm going to eat we'll the eat entire batch. batch in one sitting. Yeah. So your friend is back. Oh, of course. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, check out some of the other videos that we have linked right down there. Right by Charity. Also, make sure you take a look at the most recent video, which I'm going to put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.